on welcome to percentages of amounts uh, just before we start just a reminder that there is a notes shot revealed for this video just check the description below for a download link and you can work along with me as we go through the video okay so we're going to begin with um, finding percentages without a calculator so how we would do this um, in a little step-by-step -step, uh, method um, by hand um, and so we're going to find 30 percent of 50 pounds now the starting point whenever trying to find percentages should be to start thinking about chunks and so what I would want to begin with here is how do I find 10% of 50 pounds and the reason I go for 10% is that 10% is a really easy value to find 10% um, is 10 out of 100 meaning it is a tenth and so all we need to do is divide by 10 and that will find 10% of the value so 10% of 50 pounds would be 50 divided by 10 it would be 5 pounds now if I know what 10% is I can then build that up in order to find the 30% that I'm looking for so the question is how would I turn 10% into 30 percent well the easiest way there is just to think how do i turn 10 into 30 i multiply by 3 and so i need to do the same with my five pounds i need to multiply that by 3 as well 5 times 3 is 15 pounds in the second one i'm asked to find 20 percent of 46 pounds well, if I want to find 20%, I want to start with the same starting point. I want to begin by finding 10%. So 10% of £46. And 10% of £46 comes from exactly the same thing again. 10% would mean dividing by 10. So if I divide £46 by 10, it's not quite as nice this time. It would actually be £4.60. But in order to get the 20%, of 46 pounds well I just need to think again how do I turn 10% into 20% well I would multiply by 2 and so I multiply 4 pounds 60 by 2 as well 4 pounds 60 times 2 well that is 9 pounds 20 in the next question I've got find 15% of 60 pounds now for this one yet again I'm just going to begin with what is 10% because if I can build from 10% I can work out everything else that I might need so 10% of 60 pounds well that will be divided by 10 it would be 6 but in this case I need to find 15% so I need to think about what other pieces I require in order to make a total of 15 and so what I actually need here I also need 5% of 60 and the question here is if I know what 10% is how can I find 5% well the quickest way is that 5 is half of 10 and so I'll half it I'll divide it by 2 and so if I divide by 2 6 divided by 2 is 3 and so if I want 15% well I'm going to have to add together the pieces that I've just found 10 plus 5 is 15 percent and so 6 plus 3 is the answer it will be 9 pounds so 15 percent of 60 pounds is 9 pounds and lastly if I want to find 12 percent of 80 pounds again I'm going to look at how to build this up I'm going to begin with 10 percent of 80 pounds because the easiest one to find is just dividing by 10 so 80 divided by 10 would be 8 but for this one in order to make a total of 12% well I also need 2% so I've got a couple of ways of going about this what I would actually um, recommend here is then finding 1% of 80 how do I find 1% of 80 well if I already know what 10% is I can just divide by 10 again so dividing by 10 in both cases 8 divided by 10 is 0 0.8 but what I need is 12% so actually 10% and 1% isn't quite enough so what I actually want is another 1% and 
and 1% of 80 is still 0 0.8, it's still the same as it was above. But now, if I add all of those together, I have 10 plus 1 plus 1 is 12% of 80. And then if I add the three, uh, three answers together, I'm going to get my answer to the question. Now, um, that is 8.0. So when I add them together, I'm going to go 0 plus 8 plus 8, and that equals 16. So I'll write down 8, 6 with a decimal and carry my 1. 8 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1 is 9. And so 12% of £80 pounds comes out at 9.6. But because this is money, let's just remember we also need that second decimal point, £9.60. Okay, so next I'm going to show you a method for uh, finding percentages of amounts if you have a calculator. It's basically an efficient way of getting to these answers a lot quicker um, by just typing something into your calculator. Now, this method could be used if uh, without a calculator if you're happy with multiplying by decimals or uh, fractions. Um, but basically, this is a method just to try to make things a lot easier when it comes to calculator papers. Um, and it all comes down to this word of. Now, if you see the word of in a question, be it percentage of something, fraction of something, the word of can be replaced with multiply. And so all of these questions, we're actually going to deal with them as just multiplications. And all we are looking for here is if I'm going to find 40% of 70 pounds, I'm just going to convert the 40% either into a fraction or a decimal. And the easiest one is a fraction, because if you want to turn a percentage into a fraction, we just write it over 100. So 40 over 100 times 70. And this will find us 40% um, straight away, because what it's doing is it's taking the original amount and dividing it by 100 to find 1%, and then multiplying by 40 to get 40%. So let's grab our calculator and let's see uh, what answer we get. Okay, so let's just type it straight in. Fraction 40 over 100 multiplied by 70 equals 28. So straight away, there's our answer. It is 28 pounds. If we wanted to do with a decimal, decimals can be useful, especially when we move on to finding percentage increase and decrease. And so all we want to think of here is if I had 5%, what would that be as a decimal? Well, 5% as, uh, as a decimal means just divide by 100. So if I divide 5 by 100, I get 0 0.05. But it's still, yet again, just a multiplication. I'm just multiplying uh, by the amount. So 0 0.05 times 30. 0 0.05 times 30 equals 3 over 2. Now again, this is money, so we want to just uh, change that over. It's 1.5. And so we get 1.5 pounds. All we need to remember there, make sure we use our two decimal places whenever we are dealing with money. Then we're asked to find 35% of 36 pounds. And so again, let's do this one as a, a fraction. 35% will be 35 over 100, and I'm going to multiply it by 36. Grab the calculator, 35 over 100, multiply by 36, and we get 63 over 5. Let's just press our SD button, 12.6. And so that is 12.6, or again, two decimal places, so £12.60. And for 12.5% of uh, 120 pounds. Now, if we were doing this one by hand, we'd have to break this down into really small chunks. We'd probably have to get 10% um, and then half that to find 5% and half that again to find 2.5%. But in this case, all we need to do is think about multiplying. So 12.5%, if I wanted to turn that into a decimal, I'd divide by 100. So 0 0.125. If I wanted to write this as a fraction, I would just put... 12.5 over 100. Either way, I'm just going to multiply that by 120, and I'm going to get exactly the same answer both times. 
and so 0 0.125 times 120 well that comes out at exactly 15 pounds and so just to finish up we're just going to look at some uh, questions um, uh, without a calculator uh, where it's not quite as obvious what you need to do immediately uh, because these are functional wordy type questions uh, but all we need to do is pick out what you've been asked uh, within the question to see how we're going to get through to our answer um, so we've been told that a special offer box of cereal has 20 percent extra free a normal box contains 500 grams how much extra do you get with the special offer well straight away here we can see that we have our normal box of 500 grams and 20% extra free. And so it is this 20% that we're trying to find. And so basically this question is asking, what is 20% of 500 grams? And so how are we going to go about doing that without a calculator? Well, we're going to first of all find 10%. So 10% of 500 grams, that is dividing by 10. So 500 divided by 10 is 50 grams. We want 20% though. And so how are we going to find 20%? Well, we're going to have to double what we already have. So we're going to double the 50 grams as well. And therefore that is 100 grams. Now, the, uh, the problem that a few people might fall into if they saw this one on an exam is they may well add that 100 grams on. That would be the total weight of the new box, but that is not what you've been asked for. You've been asked for how much extra. And so the 100 grams is the answer. You get 100 grams extra in the special box. In another question, um, a shop has 300 iPads in stock. In one month, they sold 35% of these. How many iPads do they have left? So in this question, um, you have been told that they've sold 35% of 300 iPads. And therefore that is our starting point. 35% of 300. Now, where are we going to start in this question? Well, as always, we're going to begin with 10% of 300. 10% of 300 will be divided by 10, so it will be 30. Now, in order to make 35%, I'm going to need two different pieces. I'm going to need 30% of 300, and I'm also going to need 5% of 300. Now, each of these are going to be found using slightly different methods. To get from 10 to 30, what am I multiplying by? Well, I'm multiplying by 3, and so I'm going to do the same here. Multiply by 3. 30 times 3 is 90. But in order to turn 10 into 5%, I'm dividing by 2. And so I need to take this top value of 30 and divide it by 2 as well in order to find the 5%. Well, 30 divided by 2 is 15 in here, we need to be very careful when we try to find our 35% because which pieces of this actually form 35%? Well, it's only the last two pieces, the 30% and the 5%. They're going to be added together and that's going to give me 105. Now, we've got to be very careful again here. What does that 105 actually represent? Well, going back they sold 35%, so they sold 105 iPads. The question was how many do they have left? And so we have to be just careful here. They started with 300 and they've sold 105. And so what we're looking for is what's left over. It will be 195 iPads. And lastly, we've been told that the pass mark for an exam is 70%. The exam is out of 30 marks and we want to work out which students passed the exam. Now, what we could do here is um, take each of these amounts, 22, 20, 24, 21, place them out of 30, see if we can convert them into a percentage. But actually, the quickest way here is to work out what the pass mark must be. 
And so if we go for the pass mark, as in how many marks do you have to get to pass, well, that would be 70% of 30. And so where do we start? Well, in the same as everything we've done so far, I want to know what 10% of 30 is first. 10% of 30 is 3. So if I want to get 70% of 30, which is what the pass mark is, what am I going to have to do with those numbers? Well, I'm going to have to multiply by 7. And if I multiply by 7, 3 times 7 is 21. And so anyone who scores 21 or more is going to pass the exam. So Adam, has he passed? Well, he got 22. Yes. Beth, she got 20. No, she does not. Chloe got 24. She has passed. And Daniel got 21, which is exactly the pass mark. So he has passed as well. Okay, and so we come to the exam question, and both of these have come from Edexcel Foundation papers, but I've given you one from the uh, non-calculator paper in June 2018, and one from the calculator paper in November 2018. Um, so the first one with our non-calculator, because it asks us to find 15% of 160 grams, we need to start thinking, first of all, about 10%. So 10% of 160 grams. How do I do that? Well, I just divide by uh, 10. So 10% of 160 would be 16 grams. But then I also need an extra 5% of 160 grams. How would I find that? Well, 5% is half of 10%. So I'm going to divide by 2. I'm going to do the same at the other side. So 16 divided by 2 would be 8 grams. In total, I needed 15%. And so that is the two values added together. 15% would be 16 plus 8. 24 grams. For our second question, uh, this is our, our calculator question, and in this one we've been told that Adam gets a bonus of 30% of £80. Katie gets a bonus of £28. Work out the difference between the bonus Adam gets and the bonus Katie gets. So straight away we've got the phrase here, 30% of £80. And so straight away the word of Let's turn that into a multiplication and 30%, let's turn that into a fraction. So 30 out of 100 and it's going to be multiplied by 80. And so this is Adam. And let's grab our calculator. 30 over 100 multiplied by 80 is going to be 24. And we've been told that Katie gets 28. Now all it asks, what is the difference? Now difference just means subtraction. And so the difference is just going to be 28 take away 24. And so the difference is four pounds.